Hello and welcome to Nothing But The Truth. What are the Congress party's prospects in the forthcoming Delhi elections and what sort of future does Rahul Gandhi offer the party? Those are the two key issues I shall pursue today with Congress General Secretary, the head of the party's media department and the chairman of the new campaign committee for the Delhi elections, Ajay Markan. Mr. Markan, let me start with a simple question. Everyone expects that Congress is going to come third in Delhi after BJP enough. Would you accept? No, it would take a miracle for Congress to win. I don't think so. Recently concluded, just three days back, Delhi Cantonment Board elections where 60,000 voters we have. Congress got 11% more votes than we got last time. Aam Aadmi Party got 15% less votes and BJP got 3% less votes. And, and the reason, I'm telling you the reason, don't, when you compare it with last time, last How time we were in the How many seats did you win at the contournement level? Uh, we won two seats. That's right, that's we, the point. We were able to retain. Aam Aadmi Party, who has a sitting MLA there, were able to win only one seat. Let and and, and uh, they, they, they fared much, much, much worse than us. Let me put it like this. You're taking enormous consolation from the two seats you won in the Delhi Controlment Board level. Look at the facts beyond that. What? In December mm -hmm. 2013, you were left with just eight seats in the Delhi Assembly. In May 2014, you lost all seven Lok Sabha seats. In four of them, you actually lost your deposit. You have to climb Mount Everest but to win in Delhi now. Currently, the biggest difference is both these times we were the ruling party. Now we are in opposition. Both these times, Aam Aadmi Party and BJP, they made tall promises. They made all kind of promises and sold dreams which they were unable to fulfill. Let, let me finish. And seven months have passed ever since Narendra Modi is the Prime Minister. Aam Aadmi Party got 49 days and they failed miserably. What about 15 lakh rupees promised by Modi? Once what again, about the crime rate and rape me, rate which me, has gone up in Let me interrupt Delhi? and put this to you. You're hoping that because you're in opposition, the past is forgotten and forgiven no, and now in opposition no. you have a fresh... Let me put to you the challenge. The challenge is this. Look at it in terms of your vote share. Your vote share in December 2013 was 24%. It collapsed to 15% in, in 2014. AAP vote share went up from 29 listen, to 33. BJP vote share Karanji, jumped Karanji, from 33 Karanji, to 46. The, both these elections were exception because as I said, we had 15 years of anti-incumbency in 2013. Double in, anti-incumbency. Let me finish. This time around in Delhi Contournement Board elections, we got 30% votes. Which, which was 11 percent more than the than the assembly elections and much more than the parliament elections. Let, let, let me let me finish. This time around, why I am saying that we'll get many votes because at the local level, the new MLAs have failed to impress the people. It is the local level MLAs who go and ask for votes. Our sitting MLAs who won three, four times, they are being much remembered by the people now. You know, you're taking great hope, as I keep saying, from the fact that you're in opposition and in a sense, therefore, you believe the picture has changed for you. But in fact, look what happened in the four state elections so far. You came third in Maharashtra and Haryana. Yes, you came yes, fourth yes, in Jharkhand and Jammu and Kashmir. Why I, do you I, believe I, I that won't happen I, in Delhi? Yes, uh, let, let me give you the reason. And there's a very strong reason. In Maharashtra, we were in power for 10 years. We were, in, we were the ruling party, 15 years rather, in Jammu Kashmir for 12 years, in Jharkhand, we were the ruling party, supporters of the ruling party, in Haryana, we were in power for 10 years, so all these places... And in, we were in Delhi, power. Let, let, you've been in power for 15 but, years, the uh, one but, year that's passed since but, then is hardly sufficient to why, have wiped the slate why, clean. No, no, it is not wiped the slate clean. People have, we are asking people to make a comparative analysis both at the MLA level and the governance level. Is the power situation worse? Has the power situation worsened or is it better? The water supply, is it better or worsened? What, what you, about you, the MLA? That is, that is what the you, crime you, rate... You, the you are rate seriously rate. saying to me that if people were to make a comparative analysis with the 15 years of Sheila Dixit's rule and the one year since then, they will forget all the reasons why they voted Sheila out. She herself got defeated. Listen, she lost by 25,000. You're seriously yes, saying yes, that in a yes, short 14 yes, months, yes, the past yes. is forgotten and yes, forgiven? Yes, yes, yes. And I have a very strong reason to believe that. Aam Aadmi Party at that time, let me finish. These are five, six points. Aam Aadmi Party at that time promised that they will, every day, they will have Janta Darwar and listen to people. They forgot that. Aam Aadmi Party President said, Kejriwal said, Main apne ki kasam khata hun. I will not take support either from the Congress and BJP. They forgot Bacho Ki promise and they formed their own government. They said we will reduce the power tariff by 50, 60, 70 percent. They reduced very small amount just by giving subsidy. They said we will regularize all the contractual employees. They failed to regularize even one. Every let, me, let, me, let me finish. 49 days of governance, they, okay. he was busy doing dharna on the not, not even a single thing, single, Markan, single accomplishment Mr. Markan, all your points would make great sense and be very convincing, but for one fact, 
that in the polls at the moment, Aam Aadmi is riding higher than you. Where, Aam Aadmi where, is where, in a position where, where people believe where, that Aam where? Aadmi win who, the election who, who and form the government. Who says that people All the polls so. that have come oh, out have suggested you, that you, Aam Aadmi is either at one or number two. Congress is a poor third. You are talking about sample survey, the size of which is 3,000, 4,500, 5,000. I am talking about actual elections where 60,000 people are the voters in Delhi cantonment people, the very same people who voted in parliament and the assembly. I am I am asking you not to look at okay. the uh, at opinion then polls. Let's look go, at the exact then, then let's go by the Delhi cantonment. The BJP did considerably better than no, you. No, no, they, they, they did. did. They listen, did considerably listen, better than the, you. And the but, point, but can, can I finish? Then you answer. That Let me finish. Let me finish. Then you answer. It's not just that the BJP did considerably better than you in the Delhi cantonment, which is what you're going by. But in addition, they've got Narendra Modi. His appeal has grown. More importantly, people see him as a okay. possible savior. Okay. And they believe a vote for okay. BJP let me, would connect Modi me, to Delhi. That is something you no, can't counter. Let me, let two things about Delhi cantonment. Number one, you say they are doing, they have done better. No, they have, they have performed worse. They have, they, the vote share went down by 3%. And the difference is, at that time when the elections took place, I was nowhere in the picture. Now I am the campaign committee in charge. I am I, I am myself contesting an election, and I feel it will make some difference. The second thing, I am very let interested me, in that. Let me, let you let really me, believe me, Ajay Bhakran will let personally let me, let turn let the scales let in me, Congress's let, favor? Let, let, let me answer your second question. You talked about Modi, and if there is Modi and BJP has so much faith in Modi, Ram Lila ground rally flopped. He had nothing nothing new to offer. And after Ram Lila ground rally flopped, they brought in Kiran Bedi, they brought in uh, 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 Shahjia Elmi and Jaya Prada and all these people, which means they don't have any single leader, leader in Delhi capable to take over okay. as the chief minister. Mm -hmm. Let me finish. It means that BJP doesn't believe in his in its own MLAs. So why should people believe okay. in BJP's MLAs? Let me take up your answers one by one. Let's begin with Mr. Modi, then I'll come to Ajay Markin. Ajay Markin being much more interesting because he's sitting in front of me. First, Mr. Modi, are you seriously saying to me that the magnetism of Mr. Modi, the charisma of Mr. Modi, and the fact that people respond to him has ended? Are Absolutely. you seriously saying In that? Delhi, yes, I'm serious. The reason I'm telling you why is, last seven months, Narendra Modi, uh, under the president's rule, was virtually ruling Delhi. In that seven year, in those seven months, crime rate went up, rape rate went up. In Delhi, Delhi became then a crime Then why city. do the polls show BJP is riding highest in them? Listen, again, again, I'm I'm coming back to your polls. I'm saying that go for go go and see the exact election results in cantonment. Don't look at the polls. The BJP ended up with five seats. No, five seats. You last had two. Time also. And the voting percentage, the percentage of uh, BJP came down by three percent. I'm comparing with the assembly. If you look at the parliament, it is much much. It has fallen down. So much, you're much, saying much. to me and you expect this to be credibly accepted by the viewers that because in the Delhi cantonment, the Delhi cantonment, by you the way, nothing Delhi, big, Delhi huh? you got two you seats, by, by, by and because of those by, two by, seats, by, by, you really believe no, you're going to win it, Delhi. It is not just two seats only. We lost two seats just by 70, 80 votes. It is the total percentage, overall percentage of votes where we gained by 11%. Listen, listen, Karanji. 11 per, gaining 11% votes. If, uh, to Mr. Market, Mr. Market, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in front of not just so a of very difference. accomplished politician, but one who's actually very experienced as well, that and I why. find that it slightly that. comic no, no, that you're no, taking no, confidence no, no. and hosla from I, the Delhi cantonment board results, and you believe that this is absolutely. a sign why? you're going to win why? power in Delhi. Why you are such a seasoned uh, journalist yourself, such a seasoned person, you know it very well that one or two percent swing makes so, so much of a difference. I'm All talking right. about 11 percent swing, Let's, 11 percent more votes for Congress. In we'll Delhi. find out very quickly whether your confidence is justified or whether there's something slightly comic about it. Let's come to the second point you made. You said, and I'm glad you said it, because politicians usually aren't as forthright and honest as you are, that Ajay Markan will make a difference. Now, I want to pursue that with you. You are a superb politician. The problem is, you're not the face of the Congress in this campaign. And at a time when people vote for leaders rather than for parties, Ahmadmi has Arvind Kejriwal, the BJP will probably have Kiran Bedi, but you're not the face. What? If you really are going to make I, the am, difference, am, am, am tell I your party, the, I, I not, must be CM candidate. Listen, uh, Thapardi, am I not the campaign committee chairman? You say you are not the face of campaign. I'm the chairman of the campaign committee. I'm myself contesting. I'm the senior most amongst but all the... when your MLA party was contesting. officially asked who would be the CM, they have actually gone on listen, record to say that will listen, be decided Thapardi. later. That wasn't the case when you fought Punjab under Amarinder Singh. Listen, Rahul but, Gandhi declared but, him but, as the CM candidate. It. But that was the case in 2003 when under Shila Dixit. I'm talking Dixit, about 2008. I'm talking about Delhi. I'm talking I'm about talk 2008. You are talking Singh about Punjab. Punjab. I'm talking about Delhi. I'm talking about Delhi where the elections are taking place. I'm talking about Delhi. 
in Delhi 2003 as sitting Chief Minister Sheila Dixit, we didn't announce her as the Chief Minister. But that was 12 years ago. The world has changed. The way Indian electorates behave and voters behave has changed. I am the campaign committee chairman. After being the cabinet minister in government of India, I have volunteered and party has directed me to contest Delhi elections. Being campaign But they are not chairman. declaring you as the candidate. So they are deliberately because, leaving doubt about whether no, you will no, be if no, the party no, wins. And therefore people is, will say, he may be effective, he may be good, but since he is not the face, why should we vote for, listen, a, this is, for an this invisible is, this is, CM? No, this is something which is in the constitution. The elected MLAs, they themselves elect their chief minister. The elected MPs, they... You know, they, they, you know they, and they, I know that every and, single uh, party at minister. probably every single level announces who their CM or PM candidate will be. No, it's only your party that shies away and I'm saying to yes, you that if it. you believe Ajay Markan can make a difference and you were good enough to say that in so many words, then have yourself declared CM candidate and give your party the benefit rather than let doubt Why continue and that? undermine your potential effectiveness. Why should we do that? Did we announce that Dr. Manmohan Singh will be our Prime Minister in 2004? No, Manmo Dr. Manmohan Singh was our Prime Minister. Did and no one Chima voted Rao? for Dr. We, Manmohan Singh to be Prime Minister did in 2004 and many people felt cheated when he ended up as Prime Minister. No, in no, fact, in your no, own no, party, not like that. tears it were is... shed when Sonia didn't no, get the no, job. No, no. But the mandate but is... was for Sonia, no, not no, Manmohan Singh. But it is You're not countering like that. My... Our question with a hypothesis that is no, false. No, no, Our constitution provides for okay. members of parliament to elect their own leaders. Let's come to way, the way you are going to actually appeal to the people of Delhi. Because at the end of the day, if you are confident that the Delhi cantonment results can actually lead to Congress winning power, then you have to win critical Absolutely. constituencies. Now, two constituencies that are enamored of and normally impressed by Mr. Modi are in fact the middle class and the young. What can you say to get the youth to vote for you? Well, both for the youth and for uh, the middle class, we would like to say, in our fold, we have people like me with 15 years of experience as a minister, first in Delhi government as and the centre government, with a clean image, impeccable track record. As sports minister, I reigned in the BCCI. You interviewed me at that time. And at, as sports minister, I brought in sports development bill. As, uh, as housing minister, I brought in real estate regulatory authority bill to rein in the real estate regulator. As transport minister, I brought in the Absolutely. ICLD. It is an impeccable you see, track record. You are proving my point for me. Your entire appeal to the middle class and the young is Ajay Markan, Ajay Markan, Ajay Markan. But Ajay Markan is not the official listen, declared listen, CM listen, candidate. You're pointing me. out to listen, me listen, the stupidity listen, of your party no, no, in not making no, you CM listen, candidate. No, no. And if you believe you make a difference, yeah. they're not going to get the benefit listen, of it. Listen, listen, Karan. It is not only me. Likewise, the answer was Bali. only you. The answer you gave was only you. No, I'm not now saying that you didn't let me finish the answer. I would have said in and in every interview, <laughs> I always do that. I don't uh, want you to Dr. become needless for no reason. Dr. Eki Valya, Kiran Valya, Yoga uh, they, they, like so they sound like no, add-ons. They now sound like add-ons. They also have, but okay. but I let always... me put something else to you. We're talking about how you appeal to constituencies. Three constituencies that in your heyday were always loyal to Congress were the Dalits, the urban poor, and the minorities. They've all disappeared. They now vote for AAP and they vote for BJP. How will no you longer, get them back? No longer they would vote for them. Well, because how will you get me, them let back? Me, let me tell you. For the street vendors, I, as Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation Minister, bought, brought in live, right to livelihood for street vendors. And this, it was enacted. It gives right for every street vendor to vend. That is with which we are going to the people. But this government, since last one year, failed to even notify the rules under which it can operate. So this is what about minorities? Here. What about Dalits? They minorities and Dalits also, they will vote for us because in the past we bought leaders, a galaxy of leaders amongst us who appealed to them. That didn't Harun appeal to you, them Harun, in December 2013. Why no, suddenly now yes, will it yes. appeal to them? Good question. The reason, as I said, was anti-incumbency. These people promised them so many things, painted a rainbow picture of their dreams, which they were unable to fulfill. In the last seven months, in the last seven months, there has been deterioration in law and order, criminal tensions Can are I put prevailing, this to you? prevailing. So why, why, should, why people are you, now you, you, seeing you the really, difference between the Congress really and the BJP? Do you really believe that the trend that has been established in December 2013 that exacerbated itself and went further in June 2000 and May 2014 will suddenly reverse? Absolutely. That suddenly Congress, Absolutely. right, like a phoenix will Absolutely. rise from the ashes. Absolutely. And the reason is... You do believe in miracles I, 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 You do no, believe in miracles. Miracle. It is practical. It is no, not miracles. 
a miracle. You don't you believe in jadu. Listen, maybe uh, even you need a bit of tuna over here. No, <laughs> it is not jadu or tuna. Please don't say like this. Our MLAs, we've got very capable leaders at the ground level, <laughs> and we have people like us, many more. And now okay. you'll say, why aren't you naming others? I have people with me, like no, like I'm me. No, I'm happy me, for you who, to who, name who and boast about yourself because, in a sense, that proves my point that your success will help your party, but you're not in a position where your party will get credit for it for the simple reason they're not making you CM candidate. No, that no. contradiction you but can't as, escape from. But as uh, the chairman of the uh, campaign committee, I, I will okay. be in a way face of Delhi campaign. My last question to you, you're so confident, you're brimming with it. But other members of your party don't share that confidence. Sheila Dixit has mm. gone on record to say that Congress is considering supporting arm so that, in fact, BJP doesn't form a government. Listen, She's clearly conceding listen, defeat listen, before listen, the battle's listen. begun. But uh, later on she clarified and the party's line is something which I say as General Secretary of the All India Congress Committee, Communication Department Chief, is uh, the party line is something which I say is the party line and that is under no circumstances we are going to support Aam Aadmi Party or take support from, the, from them under no circumstances. Take it on record, we are not like the BJP who would call Shiv Sena Hafta Vasuli Party and NCP Naturally Corrupt Party okay. and then seek support from, from them to form the government. We are not like that, just note it. I am a person who cares for his credibility, cares for the party's credibility, note it down and and please play it again if such thing happens. All right, it's noted and it will be played if the opposite happens. Let's take a break at that point. When I come back, I want to change subjects and talk to you about Rahul Gandhi and what sort of future does he offer the Congress party. That's in a moment's time. Don't go away. Welcome back to Nothing But The Truth and an interview with Congress General Secretary and the head of the party's media department, Ajay Markand. Mr. Markand, let's come to Rahul Gandhi and the sort of future he would offer Congress. Digvijay Singh has gone on record to say that Rahul Gandhi should take complete charge of Congress and become the party president. Sonia Gandhi should become the mentor. Do you believe the time has come for this sort of generational shift or is Digvijay Singh talking prematurely? Well, the, the Congress organizational elections have started. And Rahulji also has met large number of senior Congress leaders on the basis of which a summary of such discussions have been prepared. And Sonia Ji has personally written to all PCCs to deliberate upon that summary and send, our, send back to the party by February. And, and does that summary include Rahul becoming president and Sonia it, becoming it, mentor? It, 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 it includes three things. One is the ideology of the Congress. Which should be which should be stated and uh, which should be clear, clear much more clearer no, and nearer to the ground reality. Second is organizational reforms, and uh, having fixing ac accountability uh, to the leaders uh, of party at and number level. three and number three is way forward. How how should Congress now? Does away? that way forward include Rahul becoming president? This is something which would be deliberated at the PCC level, at the lowest level, among the grassroots level workers, and then come up. Instead of one person saying something and the other implementing, Rahulji has started a very democratic way of discussing me, and implementing. Let me ask you a sole, simple question that millions of Indians ask. Do you really believe that Rahul is the future of the party? Because many think that Rahul would actually decimate your party were he to become president. They believe you need a new person, a non-Gandhi, someone from within the Congress who has the talent, the skill and the leadership to bring you back to power? Let me tell you, I have, I have been interacting with Rahulji since last around one and a half years, ever since I have become a General Secretary of the Congress Committee and Media Department Head. From the day you, he famously you, tore up the ordinance in public and embarrassed you hugely. We, you were sitting we, there no, beside him yeah, when it happened. Yeah, but, but I have seen him. I haven't come across such a well-meaning human being. Deep in his heart, he has, he, he has good intentions for the country and for the Congress. Does he have the talent and the skill he to has. be you the president of the party? Not only talent, uh, Mr. Thapar, his ideas, his thinking is something which will take Congress and the country forward. Let me ask he, you. He, he, he will, he, he, he will let, let me hmm? say, all his ideas of reforming the organization, making it more democratic, making people more accountable, power center, so instead of being at the center. ideas brought Congress to, ground, to its worst Lok Sabha no, no. performance listen, in 2014, listen, listen, 40, 40, 
seats. Those ideas were never implemented. What he said, the, those ideas of Rahul ji will get start, started implemented when you will see these organizational reforms taking place. Let me ask you a simple question: What gives you the confidence that Rahul Gandhi has the capacity to a capture the imagination of the Indian people and b convince the Indian people that he has the answer to their problems? Because up till now, listen, listen. up till now. After having been an MP for 11 listen, years, listen, he's completely listen, failed to leave any mark. Rahul Gandhi is an organizational man. Deep in his, in his heart, he believes in decentralization of power. Deep in his heart, he believes in empowering the workers of the Congress party at the lowest level. What is ailing Congress is, it is so top-heavy, top-centric that the grassroots level workers feel alienated. Wherever we, we are in the government, grassroots level, just let me finish. Wherever we are in the go uh, government, the grassroots workers feel alienated and feel cheated that because of you them know, is the Markan, Congress and the, they, 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 there is blurred, blurred ideology. Mr. Markan, Mr. Markan, so your, answer, your answer things. is actually about how he's going to recreate the Congress party. Maybe he'll succeed, maybe he won't, maybe he has the answers to that problem. But your answer is not an answer to my question, which is how do you believe you have confidence that Rahul can capture the imagination of the Indian people and convince the well, Indian people he has the answer to their problems? Because listen, in 11 years as an MP, he's left no mark with the Indian listen, people. Listen. Uh, Karan Thapadji, 11 years. First, he was he the general secretary. He led the campaign let, in Bihar, let, let you me, failed. Me, he led the campaign me, no, in UP, let, he let failed. Me, he led the me, national no, campaign, no, you no. failed. You you are only counting failures. You are not counting There is only failure. No, he has no success. 2009 elections, we got 206 because seats in, in parliament because of his hard work. Actually, At in 2009, time, no. you got those seats because of the good work of the government no. and the image of Dr. Manmohan Singh and the fact that you said Singh is king. Now, coming back again. You mean that for all the wrongs, for all the debacles, charges of corruption, performance of the government, our, our, I, our, our senior, I, just, just let me yeah. finish please. Uh, all, all senior ministers' uh, performance, good or bad, doesn't matter, only Rahul Gandhi matters. Uh, when it comes to failure and when it comes to success, it was only Manmohan Singh. Please don't be so unkind can to I, Rahul Can Gandhi. I quote to you what the Times of India no, says about Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi? This is what the Times of India says about Rahul Gandhi. Step aside Rahul. Else, Congress's decline into irrelevance is a foregone conclusion. Then what? That's the country's biggest no, paper. The biggest paper is supporting the BJP in a way. Look at their channel. Look at look at look at their publications. How they openly they All go right. against the Congress party. Let me then quote Ram Guha, one of India's, if not India's, primary listen, modern historian. Let me quote. He says Rahul Gandhi is a well-intentioned dilettante. He's completely mediocre. He says he should find another profession. But most importantly, this is what he says. If the party nominates Mr. Gandhi as Prime Minister, the nation shall not be in safe hands. Ram Guha, then he's what? not pro-BJP. Listen, 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 listen. Uh, Thapadji, first of all, Rahul Gandhi, what he thinks or the organizational changes, the ideology of the Congress party which he wants to bring up is something which is not known to Ram Guha. So Ram Guha is not known to anyone in the country. No, it is known to the party because he. It and is the being party discussed. keeps it so secret. No, no, no. It, it, it is being shared. I have shared it with the media. Please uh, print it. Please talk about it in the media. Please don't put for blame on Rahul Gandhi for all failures and give to credit to others for all successes. Can I put something to you? People say Rahul Gandhi is not a natural born leader. He is instead a victim of circumstances. For, let me finish that you answer. First, they say he's a prisoner of the hopes generated by the family he's born into. Then he's a prisoner of the uh, unrealistic no, expectations uh, of his party. Listen, and thirdly, listen, listen, he's a prisoner listen, of the fact listen, that he's listen, in a job that listen, he has no, no talent no, no. for. I, I totally disagree. Thapurji, you are reading out statements. You are reading out headings. You are making your own statements as if these are the truth. This is not the truth at all. The, what you are saying, no, what you talk, no, of no, of no you are not reflecting that. that Rao I am, I is am in the wrong job. No, no, no. A nice I'm, man, no doubt, I but don't in the agree. wrong job. I am, I am every day in and out. I am interacting with lakhs and lakhs and crores of crores of people, Congress workers whom we interact with. They, they think otherwise. And please don't just go by one or two elections. Can I put this to you? Most people are convinced that Rahul Gandhi actually doesn't even want to no, be no, Congress no, no, president. No, please. no, this is this is not true. Look, he uh, doesn't Thapardi, enjoy Thapardi, the cut and thrust of Politics. He doesn't if participate you, no, in parliament, Thapardi, he doesn't you, interact no, with the media. Please, please, if you look at uh, just after the program, just calculate how much time you spoke in this program and how much time I have spoken, you will find that on Rahul Gandhi, you are speaking at least three times more than I am speaking. If you are asking questions, then the answer should be longer, if not at least equal. If, you, if the questions are longer than the answer, then you are in uh, Except unkind, for the fact unkind, that this is a very interesting no, way of deflecting from the no, subject. No, 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 no. Are you doing it, it because you aren't able to convince no, no, me that please, Rahul is I'm a natural-born leader? Listen, 
I can convince someone who is not pre-convinced. You, you are already convinced. You, you already have a, you have a thinking. You are reading out uh, Times of India or Ram Gua would not know what exactly Rahul Gandhi wants to do for the Congress. What, how Rahul Gandhi wants to democratize the. Can Congress. I put something to you? Someone who is born to be president of Congress, someone who is born to be a prime minister, interacts with Parliament, interacts with the media, right? Enjoys the cut and thrust of politics. They don't run listen, away listen, when there are the, challenges. The, everyone has his own style. People used to criticize Dr. Manmohan Singh for not speaking okay. towards the end. Let, let me finish. In the beginning, people used to say, look, he's such a hardworking person. Uh, now people have started saying, this prime minister doesn't stop talking. After some time, people will say, this prime minister only talks, doesn't do any work. Everyone has, a, has his, his or her own style. Rahul Gandhi has his own style. He wants to democratize and... Has and, it and, ever occurred to you that it's the wrong style for the job he wants no, to do? It is, no, it doesn't. Because we know it very well. Because the person's intentions okay. are good. He, he is a well-read person, well-traveled person. He wants to do something good for the country and the, and, and the party. All right, Mr. Markan, I wish you luck. A pleasure talking to you. Thank you.